Okay, so since we're in the space of talking about faggots. Yes. Well, we we don't know. Is he is this person? Oh, he's a homosexual. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a homosexual. I don't believe he's in denial. All right, well, let's run it. All right. In my comments calling me a self-hating gay, I have a question for you. So what do I do as a parent that's raising a child in a gay household? And if I allowed him to see me kissing and having affection with another man, since y'all feel like that's so important, what do you do when that little boy that has seen you kiss a man in the mouth and hold his hand and do all that cuddle lovey-dovey shit, what do you do when your little boy goes over to somebody else's house and he does it because he thinks that it's okay when it's really not? And now somebody want to harm my baby or they whooping on him or mistreating him because they're calling him gay. What do you do then? Because he came in with that sir shit. Uh -huh. So what? So so if he was over there trying to plead his case, that he not know that he not knows. Girl, she back on the other I story, am. girl. If he over there, <laughs> if he over there plead his case, that he not know transphobe by him walking in the door. Well, that was what I said. Saying it, sir, sirs. That already let us know what you saw. So whatever my sister said about you in the video, bitch, is true, bitch, and I'm going to spread it as much as I can, puss ass punk. Now, back to the one that we just saw. Oh, let's talk about this one. At first, that's who I thought she was talking about. No. So, Craig, let's talk about it, right? Now, he said, the question that he posed in the video was, what is he supposed to do if he has a child witnessing and seeing two men kissing and this that and the third well the same thing that your son does when what you think you 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 give him boy because you got on a do rag my thing is one you have the gay lisp you know the gay lisp right yes yes <laughs> okay it's all right come on you got that yes All, you got all of the gestures and mannerisms and idiosyncrasies. So he's so your son is witnessing all of that too. So you think that because he's looking at television and Billy Porter is dancing around on TV that that's somehow going to influence him? It, he's no more influenced by seeing you. You you are clocky. You just like that other sis over there, clocky. <laughs> but come on. So, like I said one time before when we were sitting here, there are gay men who exist within the gay community, the queer community. They have gay friends. They move in gay circles. They suck and dick, eat and ass. You know, they do all of the things. They go into pride and shit. But they still have that internalized homophobia thing going on. They still haven't reconciled. You know I'm a devil's advocate in a minute. Go ahead. They, they haven't reconciled for themselves. And they still want to have proximity. Mm -hmm. To straight folks, like that other one did with the uh -huh. the nails on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna come from a different perspective. Go ahead. This because he black. They're, as 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 clackly as the motherfucking arky ass nails is on that bitch hand, you'll never be black hoe. Never, <laughs> bitch. Just like I'll never be a motherfucker have a pussy, bitch. You will never be black. But this person is black. Okay. And you have to understand this right here, Craig. Right. Uh huh. Let's get it together. We black people have been raised deeply in the church. Correct. Deeply. And I, I'm going to come from a devil's advocate perspective in this whole situation because I too have wanted to be in close proximity to straightness because, and I've always wanted to be that that one, but I grew out grew it. I think we all have though, because that's where the closet comes in. Yeah, but I've, you're in the closet because you're trying to have passability. But I've I've always wanted to be that one that's like, well, I'm not this one that they're talking about. Uh -huh. they, they talk about them. They're talking about them, and yeah. we talk about this on a constant uh, basis on this show, mm -hmm. where we say that you know, like, because when I sat next to Kyle, and I and Kyle was laying the sissies out, punk sissies, whatever, and we all found it funny, and we found it funny because it was them. It was them. The moment that they got angry with with the girls, mm -hmm. the moment that they, they got angry with the girls, it definitely became a me situation, and which let me know that I was always in that group. It was just because we were we were get, making money together, mm -hmm. and there was some type of beneficial gain mm -hmm. there, you know that I, I that I was safe to them because I was a, a absolutely I was an asset absolutely the moment that they felt that I was a liability I became all the things that they are mm -hmm. let's let's do this I think that it's embedded in those types of people 
it's also embedded in us gays. For sure. Because it was passed down through our parentage. Right. And we exist in this society. So we're going to be affected by that. Yes. And so because it was passed down through our parentage, we have in our within ourselves have inherently obtained. Did I say it correctly? Yeah. We have inherently obtained Correct. homophobia and transphobia. Like that white faggot that was just over there talking to me. Mm-hmm. Because if, if 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 you were truly in a space of you know not transphobic, the first thing that you wouldn't would have said would not have came in as, and tried to address me as sir. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, with us as as real black people, mm -hmm. and not cosplaying mm -hmm. as niggas, we over here are so strongly influenced by the church and it's so it has been impressed and, and, and it's, it's embedded made in, in us yeah, and yeah. it's been embedded Indelibly. in our dna yeah that i understood exactly where this gentleman was coming from when he was talking about you know what i see for my child or what i see for or what i don't want to see for my my kid or whatever you know now i'm not upholding hmm? i understand what i understand what he's saying I understand what he's saying, but my thing is, I would I leave it. We're gonna yeah, leave that. that. I, I I understand what you're saying, and I understand his point. What I'm saying is, you obviously had this child when you were still confused, mm -hmm. very much so confused, because at some point, excuse me, you realized after you impregnated this. This woman that you, that gave you this child, mm -hmm. you realize at some point that you were a fag and fag. So, at what point do you give yourself permission to be who you are? Like, if we're going to move in spaces and shrink, even in our own households, and now I'm speaking direct directly to the queer people, yeah. not just the gay men, but the queer people. Period. If you're going to start shifting in your own household, like when you got family coming over or friends coming over who may not know that you're queer and all of a sudden you're trying to accommodate them. So in the example of this guy here, I would imagine that whenever he has gay friends come up, because trust, believe and no, he does have gay friends and he's dating gay men, mm -hmm. right? He's fucking around with gay men. So what are you, what, what are y'all pretending y'all playing charades when they come to the house? Y'all, you try to pretend that you're not gay. So to me that you're shrinking, you are shrinking. When you move through the world and you are shrinking, it is no different than black people who are in high spaces at the corporate level, and you're not going to be a voice, not the voice, but a voice for black and brown people. Then why are you even there? And he said uh, that, well, somebody in the comment section said that uh, that that he's also teaching his, Absolutely. his kid to be Straight. homophobic. homophobic. Oh. Or, or, or he even he's even conditioned, even if it's not homophobic, He's conditioning him to think that there's something wrong with being gay. And see, it goes back to what I say all of the time. Sexuality is instinctive. It's how you're wired. So I don't give a fuck if Billy Woodruff and the entire cast of Pose, bitch, is on Sesame Street. If that little boy is naturally gay, he's going to be gay. If he's straight, he's going to be straight. Now, I do believe that in instances where a child is, is raped or molested, it can confuse the mind. There is a possibility in those instances after being touched, because even if, if even if you were touched inappropriately, or you've been uh, taken advantage of inappropriately, sometimes that triggers things. Like there are some people that that two things happen: either they become hypersexual, correct, or they don't become sexual at all. They regress, and then they regress. Uh -huh. the they become hypersexual, or they regress. Yeah. Regress because I know that there have been some women that have been sexually assaulted or or molested or yeah. raped or touched that have uh regressed into themselves yeah and they're not sexual with their partners at all and i'm gonna tell you i've had instances too where sometimes if, if, if in particular with a woman and not even just with women because it can happen with people period if a if a person is violated sexually sometimes they put on a lot of weight they gain a lot of weight mm -hmm. because they don't want to be they don't want to be appealing to anyone to, to, to give somebody else the, their thought is. I've, I've heard stories. I've seen stories. Hold on, somebody, go, you know, go, go back up this way. Sometimes Chef, that happens. Okay. Is this Madison? Oh, I wrote a comment many years ago regarding how Kai would destroy the gays with hateful words, but you 
But y'all read, read me to, to the, the floor. floor. Um, well, here's what you don't know. And and here I hate to have to always go back to this, whatever. You mm. prob you probably did, but if you don't, if you go back and you watch the shows, there were times that she was extremely reckless. Mm. When the show would go off, I would most definitely and Craig bag me up on this. I'm listening. I would most definitely tap her, her tap her on her shoulder and say, Now, sister, you know that you, you know did. you know you can't do this. Mm -hmm. You know you can't say faggot, you can't say this. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't do it because you're not, you know, but she felt because you're adjacent. Yes, but she felt that she was a part, she was so deep in the community, she was a part of the community that she could use the words like some of you who have white friends and you think you give them permission to say nigga. Who does that? I, <laughs> I don't know anybody black that does that. Because oh, <laughs> see, I'm the kind of black person, I'm not even talking to a white person about somebody black. Because I let, even if I agree, I let the people know, don't play with me. Even when I'm on set working on a film and the word nigga comes up and they got to read me my line, I'll tell them, hey, hey, hey. I got that part. I got that part. <laughs> don't you say that. You read everything else. You can say everything <laughs> around it, but that, because I have done that. <laughs> oh, God. When, I don't, when I'm fucking up my line, I'm uh -huh. like, hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. Get me up to the word. Get me up to the word and then <laughs> skip that and go to the word after that. <laughs> And don't fuck up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> let me let me chat, tap you sh hey, slightly. Hey, I may not know the line, but I know that word is in that line. Correct. And I know that you have to read that line. I just need everything around it. I just it. need everything else around it. <laughs> can, they, can they improvise? Absolutely not. No, no, no. Because I know that word is there. <laughs> it's just a couple of words before that and maybe two after. That's right. <laughs> Take me up to the door, niece. <laughs> and then you turn around and go the other way. <laughs> now somebody in the camp before you said allow their people but they would they wanted to definitely be in close proximity uh-huh because they were intertwined and married to the children honey and they was allowing all that type of shit to go on i was like oh my god really what they said can they just say just say the n-word can they just say n-word that's as close as you get don't even do that because i know that word is there <laughs> i know that word is there in the in the script so you would know where all the N words are. But I don't know them other words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just so that we right. just so that we are clear here. Mm. But no, I I get what you're saying about him, but I just feel like that's a dangerous kind of guy. That's 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 a dangerous gay guy because I I can see parts of him that's not clear about who he is and he's out here in this dating pool and it's just like it, it would be unfortunate to be involved in some sort of a relationship with someone who thinks and believes like believes that. Can I, can I ask something? Sure. So, um, do you think that he was trying to do that also to like maybe protect his the, his child from like scrutiny and from being like treated a certain way when he's out in public? I think that that's a lot of reason why people don't want their, people don't want their children or their, their members of their family to be homosexual because they know how they treat homosexuals. Mm -hmm. They know how they treat them. And they know that the conversation that they've had about the gays will now apply to their own Will children. now apply to, to their home. So people are, 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 are sometimes, you know, more uh, want to protect, I, I don't even want to say protect, like, because it's just like, oh my God, now I can't, now I can't do the things that I'm, I normally do, mm -hmm. okay. or I can't do, like, because it's like, oh shit, now this uh, this applies to me, right? And so I always ask people, well, when you say that you don't want your kids to be gay, is you don't want your kids to be gay because you know what you do to gays? It's that, or you know how you feel about gays? Is this is is that the reason? Is that the true reason why you don't want your children to be homosexual? Is because you know what they what they what you've done or what you know you have had done? Well, because there are conversations that happen that we're not privy to hear. There there are conversations that straight folks have among each other that we're not privy to hear. In the way that there are conversations that white people have about black folks that they don't want us to necessarily hear or race relations.
But I think also in the instance that you're talking about, I think sometimes what happens too is it's like with the parents who are struggling with their own children being gay or whatever, like, you know, like not him, not this boy, but like a straight parent who doesn't want their child to be gay. I think it's also because they're concerned about the shame that they will feel because if their friends know that their child is gay or the other family members know that their child is gay. Because I remember having a conversation with my mom when I came out. I said, listen, girl, I've already worked through my stuff. You have to work through this on your own and you can do that in your in due time. But I've already thought about what your sisters and your brothers are going to say and think and feel. What your mother, my grandmother is going to say, think and feel. Like I'm past that part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you have to do that healing and that's okay. My, here's, my heart goes out to, to that gay man because I understand what it is that, that, that he is he wants to protect his, his kid from. He wants to protect his kid from him or for what, what has happened to him or for what he has received. However, he's also projecting what he's received. You know, like when we tell Billy Porter to come down off of there dancing around <laughs> Elmo. Now, we do want Billy Porter not to be gay. We do, we do want Billy Porter to get the chair. <laughs> now, 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 why, now, why you want Billy Porter? Now, you know, Billy Porter be getting them six cent checks, girl. Let that man make a living. No, she was making a living, a lot of living. You know, she took over that pole show. Okay, but girl, she's trying to work over here at that the Sesame Street. That was show, and she took over that trans show. Correct, and she's trying to work on over here at the Sesame Street. What's okay. wrong with that? Nothing wrong with it, Nella. So, so why you want Billy to sit down from Sesame Street? Well, girl, she got it. She was getting. She was Cinderella. She was a fairy godmother. <laughs> Okay, I, I, right, but my question though is, why do you want <laughs> Billy to come off of Sesame Street? I mean, just sit down, period. Not just Sesame Street. Oh, you don't. Oh, you, oh, so you don't want Miss. You don't want Miss. You don't want Miss Porter to work. Well, I want her to work, but well, when, well, when can but she it's, work? It's just like Mariah. Like Mariah, you don't. I don't need you to sing every song. Okay, come, come back. No, come on. No, I, I want to no, know. I want to know why. See, because really this one, you, to you, sit you, down. you're trying to cut this so you can put this on our page. Yeah, yeah. I want to know why Billy Porter got to sit down. Where is he okay to work? Where can he work? He can work everywhere. This is not every single. Just not Sesame Street. No, it's not just Sesame Street, girl. This is that girl. I'll, when y'all see a punk, y'all want to give the dog the building. Girl, it's other punk. Craig should be a lawyer. There are other punk. Craig should be a lawyer. There are other punk. Yeah, put me on put me on Sesame Street. <laughs> there are other. No, I don't want to go on Sesame Street. No, there's already Big Bird there. You don't. Ah! So Maddie, they call, if Sesame Street called you right now, say we want. I'm gonna go get the money, bitch. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go right over there and be singing the alphabet. Oh, I'm going to get A B B C. Like Patty LaBelle. D E F G L L L L P. Baby, when I said she was up and down the scales. G U V W X Y Z. Somebody should have tapped Patty. But that's all I'm saying. It's just like, girl, like every time, like every time there's a punk, like, and this is what Hollywood does. Mm -hmm. Like every time that there's a role for a punk, oh, Billy. They, they let two black women slide through her decade. Hattie McDaniel, <laughs> Hattie McDaniel loved her. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg loved her. But by the time I came through, <laughs> Hollywood had filled that black woman quota. That's it. I didn't stand a chance. It's like, girl. <laughs> Like girl, like you know, and I, and that's not for me not wanting my sister to work because she's black. I want her to work. Well, she's sometimes black. Okay. Well, she's black. All she lives in her skin. But it's just like girl, like. But in her mind, she's not. But is black. it Billy Porter? You know, Billy Porter. Is it Billy Porter? Girl, where's Titus? Titus. Who? Titus Burgess. Oh, I love him. Titus is funny. Where's Titus? Titus is funny. Titus sings. Give, I love him. Give give that give, Titus could do that. Yes. I first saw him Titus. on uh Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh Kelly Schmidt. Yes. I mean the, the Kimmy Schmidt. Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah, Kimmy it's just Schmidt. like you can't put me in everything. Like I'm not supposed to be in everything. Like I don't even think that I'm supposed to be in every motherfucking thing. Like like listen, like every prostitute role. Here go Matt. No, I don't <laughs> I don't want to play a prostitute anymore. Girl, I've already done that. I've been there, done that in real life. <laughs> Can I be a doctor? <laughs> I've been a prostitute. Now I'm going to get the role. I'm, now you give me a prostitute role. I'm going to play the role. But you're tired of it. No, but I'm going to play the role. <laughs> oh, so gosh. do y'all understand what I'm saying? Can y'all? Can y'all? Do y'all feel me? What I'm talking about? I'm not hating on the girl. We haven't, but she, yes, she can sit. 
Put Titus on Sesame Street. Let Titus go up there. Titus can sing too. Hey, skin potion. What's up, skin potion? Baby, listen. Yes, thank you for thank you for the, the potions. I, I'm so glad that listen, skin potion. It seems like that I've been summoned to motherfucking the to at New York City, bitch. And I may have to pull up in NYC. Or ain't no May. We coming because I'm already looking. Oh, for we venues. definitely coming, but I may have to pull up in NYC, bitch, for other reasons, bitch. Us be known to a punk. She, she no, she she's called it go come <laughs> to do her show. I am, <laughs> and I may give a punk a free ticket to come on in. <laughs> To tell me, call me sir in my motherfucking face. 